Hello and welcome. Today's lecture is the first lecture in a multi-lecture series on information security. Um, so what we're doing here is <clears throat> we're going to look at an overview of ISC Squared, which is the organization um, that vets the CISSP certification and also maintains the information security common body of knowledge that has become known as the 10 domains of InfraSec. But our, our focus here is not on teaching you how to be a CISSP or a mini CISSP, although in the course of these lectures we will cover much of the same ground, uh, but we won't go as deeply into it as you would have to go to get a CISSP certification. Uh, what we're going to focus on is what are the uh, responsibilities and duties of an information executive to ensure that his or her company is protected against um, legal liability um, issues uh, regarding information security. So we talk about these two terms, due care and due diligence. That's what we want to focus on here. So as you all know, information security is a growing legal and public relations concern. And standards have emerged over the years, and legislative and case law are confirming um, that ISC squared has um, defined standards acceptable in the court systems. If you uh, are designing and maintaining your company's information security according to ISC squared's 10 domains, uh, then, then the courts are um, establishing precedent that says that you are exercising due diligence and due care and therefore not legally negligent, which significantly reduces uh, potential liability that your company may face regarding information security issues. Okay, so um, those are three terms that we want to have clearly in our head, due care, due diligence, and legal negligence. So let's ask the question, what is due care? Um, due care is when a company develops written policies, procedures, standards, and guidelines for security purposes. And more specifically, um, in order to protect yourself according to recent case law, you must uh, develop written policies, procedures, standards, and guidelines for security purposes in conformance with ISC squared's 10 domains of information security. Uh, it is commonly assumed um, that these policies, procedures, standards, and guidelines then that you will be developing uh, will be in conformance with that. And so now we ask, what is due diligence? Uh, it is the operational practices um, that ensure that you are enforcing your information security policies, procedures, standards, and guidelines. So it's the enforcement piece of the due care piece. Due care is to have those uh, policies, procedures, standards, and guidelines, and due diligence is to ensure that you are enforcing them. Some examples of due diligence include quarterly training in information security policies of the company, annual evaluations, both individual and organizationally, how the information security policies procedures, standards, and guidelines are being adhered to. Uh, disciplinary actions for those who do not carry out the InfoSec rules of the company. Uh, testing requirements before hiring. Um, now, you don't have to do all of these things on the list, uh, but, but you have to do some of them. It's probably better to be able to do them all, but it's not required that you do them all. What is required 
is that you and your management have thought through how they are going to ensure that your um, infosec policies, procedures, standards, and guidelines are being conformed to, and, uh, and then the insurance that they're being conformed to becomes uh, your due diligence. So another might, might be, for instance, announced and surprised audits, uh, background checks, and there are others, but these are just some examples of what we mean when we say due diligence. So for due care, again, uh, you need to establish written, it doesn't count if they're not written, they need to be written policies, procedures, standards, and guidelines that show how your company is conforming to the 10 domains of information security as specified by the ISC squared organization. Due diligence is um, the application of various types of operational practices uh, to ensure that those are being uh, conformed to. All right, so who is ISC squared? This stands for the International Information, that's II, Systems Security, SS, Certification Consortium, CC, which is how we get ISC squared. It's really IISSCC, but no one ever says that. It is a nonprofit standards organization recognized worldwide um, as probably the premier leader in information security. One evidence of that is ISC squared is the organization that vets, specifies, vets, tests, and certifies all CISSPs. And the CISSP is considered by many people to be uh, the most prestigious certification uh, for information security professionals. Okay, that all comes out of the ISC squared. ISC squared developed the common body of knowledge called the CBK, um, which is comprised of these 10 domains and now constitutes industry's best practices uh, for information security. So let's ask the question, what are the 10 domains? First is security management practices. And we'll talk about what each of these domains is in a good bit of detail um, throughout the next two or three lectures here um, so that you'll have a pretty clear understanding of what, what we mean when we talk about each of these domains and what your company would have to do to be in conformance uh, with these domains. Security management practices. The second one, security architecture and models. The third one, telecommunications and network security. Okay, so notice that in the first two domains, uh, we've really done nothing um, operational, so to speak, nothing technically operational. The first technical operational uh, domain is the third one here uh, where we would implement telecommunications and network security. This, for example, would be where firewalls would show up, among many other things. Uh, number four would be applications and systems development security. Okay, again, we'll talk about each of these in more detail later. The fifth, cryptography. Um, how to make sure that, that uh, the information is properly encoded uh, and when you want to do that. The sixth is access control. Um, making sure that the right people have access to the right systems and nobody else does. The seventh domain uh, is the whole area of laws, investigations, and ethics. So which laws uh, apply to your company? Um, which investigation methods and procedures a need to be in operation in your company and for what reasons, and which ethical standards applying to information security um, are pertinent for your company. So that the answer to those questions all fits inside the seventh domain. The eighth domain is operations security.